Welcome to episode 5 of making one bill from a level 3. I uh, fucked that up. Straight off the bat, I want to address the big elephant. We hit 100k subscribers very fast. <laughs> I really wasn't expecting to get it so quickly. Sure you guys are sick of me saying it, but I gotta... God, man, I don't want to make this emotional, but yeah, 100k subs. It's been a dream and a goal of mine for as long as I can remember, and I've been making YouTube videos for a very long time. My old subscribers, my new subscribers, and everything in between, thank you guys very much. So what I'm thinking about doing for my 100k celebration is, is the most unoriginal, most played out video concept that's ever hit YouTube. I'm thinking about doing a house tour. I don't know if you guys give a shit. If you guys want to see a house tour, leave a thumbs up on this video. Let me know down in the comments or if there's something else you'd like to see and feel free to let me know. With that being said, guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I hope you enjoy hey hey 48 fishing very nice i believe that is one of the requirements we need for the hero's quest because we need to be able to get lava eels not too shabby i'm gonna go ahead now i'm gonna do fremenic trials which is gonna take a little bit of time we only really have the big quest left to do after that to be honest i need to do the underground pass so i need to get i believe 51 agility because i plan to do regicide right after with an agility boost but let's crack on with this quest for now and there it is Fremenic trials have been completed. We can now equip ourselves a Berserker Helm, Arzer Helm, or Farser Helm, which I'm not gonna do because I'm just gonna go ahead and do the next quest when I wanna get one of those helmets. 42 defense. We can actually equip Void now. That's really good. And 49 attack. And 43 thieving. And 36 agility. And 29 fletching. I would like to give a bit of appreciation to this guy who commented on the last video informing me that rune arrows buy for roughly. 90 GP each, as you can see, 93 gold, and they out for 240. So I'm going to be buying myself the rune arrows now instead of using mind runes. I'm not going to be making profit from high alking. However, I'm not going to be losing as much. So thank you very much, man. Really appreciate it. And it's the perfect time because we have to get ourselves 51 agility now. We just got ourselves 40 agility. We are very close to 60 magic. But this means that I can now go over to Mortania and start using the force, which is in Hanafis, which is actually really good because it's how you get the most marks of grace i'm not entirely sure if we're gonna get graceful through this grind although i do need to get 70 plus so i can go to god wars dungeon at sarah plus i want to use the shortcut at zora so we'll see 60 magic very nice pharaoh scepter unlocked never gonna use it and we're closing in on 1000 total look at that so currently we need to get ourselves 50 mining for the hero's quest and i think there's another quest and maybe 60 for lunar diplomacy which i'm probably going to do at some point in the future but for now we're going to crack on with this we need to get ourselves about 60 ish k mining xp i am going to attempt to tip tip free tick all the way there if i can i'm not perfect at this but i know that i can do it to somewhat of an efficient fuck am i trying to say to some sort of efficiency boys boys there we go that is 50 mining done. Not bad. Didn't take long at all. A lovely. A very nice one quest point. Two antique lamps. And we get favor, which is very good. And we can now continue doing the thieving grind on fruit stalls. Apparently, this is really good thieving XP. So I'm going to do this for the next hour. And we're going to see exactly how much experience we manage to get. And we need to get 50 free thieving for desert treasure anyways. And it's also going to help a lot when it comes to the underground pass. 50 free thieving is two stools away. Here we go. Booyah. 50 free desert treasure. We can now actually do desert treasure right now if we want, which is kind of insane. 61 combat, all quest requirements, skills included. Hey, that's not bad whatsoever. But uh, before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to go and do the underground pass now. Grab myself some summer pie so I can boost my agility and hopefully... This isn't going to be complete aids. Okay. Notes to self. Never do this quest without 99 agility. I have just fallen literally 10 times in a row. All right. We've made it this far. Please. I've fallen four times. Oh my 
God, that is, oh, I'm so happy. I was about to smash the fuck out of this keyboard. Hello, hello there, Mr. King Larfus. I believe you owe me some quest points. Five quest points, 159? Quest took so much longer than I anticipated, man. Do not do this quest with low agility. And I wouldn't even say this is low, but that shit was slow. As an Adara, yo, what's up? Give me these quest points. Give me this magic XP. I am so done. We're doing quests for tonight. It's three o'clock in the morning. Oh, it's four. And we got a magic level. Three quest points. 162. Not too shabby. And the next quest is going to be the hero's quest. Want to wake up. We just got finished setting off our little PVM tab, as you can see here. Nice 900k. And currently, we don't really have much to do in terms of grinding towards Recipe for Disaster. I just need to get my cooking up at this point. Definitely going to be losing a bit of money on these lobbies right here. We're 48 cooking right now. I need to get 50 free to be able to do the Heroes Quest. And then for Recipe for Disaster, we need 65 because we can boost to 70. On top of that, the only remaining requirement is 51 Agility for Regicide, which we can also boost up. So we're very close. And we currently have 162 quests points beautiful completely messed it up god damn it dude 64 cooking all right let's keep going we got two more levels i'm gonna get if any of you are following this as a guide i decided to do jugs of wines which you simply need jugs filled with water and grapes and this is the fastest cooking xp at this level relatively cheap and will take you no time at all to get level 66 which you can boost to 70 from using a chef's delight a 66 cooking that is definitely the highest cooking level we need right now and i can boost with one pie very nice please there we go one quest point 163 did we get any levels from that 26 herb lore nice 41 wood cut in i can now use rune axes and we're almost 1000 total we're at the mage bank i i feel like we may as well got ourselves the magic cape real quick and there we go clodian has been defeated and we can now receive ourselves a magic cape. Usually, I will go for Zami. And I don't think there's going to be any exception this time either. Oh, it even goes with the robes. We are looking fierce right now. <laughs> the Elemental Shield Warrior. And now we get given a free Zami staff. Which, if we elk, is 60k. But I'm not going to do because I want to get the Major in a 2k. We have the agility level. We needed 47. We can now boost to get inside of the wildy course. And we will see how much better XP this is from Hanafis, where we were getting at max 16k agility XP per hour. I have been doing this now for probably about 5 to 10 minutes. I've gained 5,000 agility XP. And apparently this is 40k agility XP an hour, opposed to the 15k at Hanafis, which is like almost three times as much. Obviously, the only thing is I am boosting my agility to be here because you need 51 to get in. But that is insane. Here it is, boys. The level we've been waiting for. Yes, you can spec me once, please. Okay, that's fine. Didn't one hit me. 51 agility. Very nice. We can now boost to 56. Let's do regicide. This is the very last quest that we need to do, which is a wreck for RFD. So here we go. This is the end of regicides. Very nice. 13,000 agility XP. We even got an agility level. Awesome. So all I need to do now is I need to start the legends quest and 1,000 total level as well. Keeps on coming. The quest that keeps giving. And then we can go ahead and complete barrow gloves. That is insane. That is going to be one hell of an upgrade from these things. The first quest, a recipe for disaster, a thousand Slayer XP. Oh, we just got 40 Slayer. Oh, look at that. The second one, that I didn't realize I was going to get all of this uh, passive experience as well. That's insane. 168. Only six left to go. Here you go, Mr. Ogre. Oh, lovely. Another one down. Oh, I took my shield off. Oh, thank God. I thought I was about to die. <laughs> I thought he said took the shield off, dude. Okay, that's fine. I thought I was about to get one shot. I would have been so annoyed. 173 quest points. Now, onto the monkey. We cooked it on the first go. Let's go. You're free, little monkey. You're free. And I think I'm actually one quest point short of what I thought I needed. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this back to back to back to back to back. I'm probably going to have to go do another quest very fast. And there's plenty of them. Righty, boys. Two five-minute quests done. Scorpion capture. 
And there we go. We have 175 quest points now, and we can go ahead, buy ourselves some decent mage armor, and complete recipe for disaster. Oh, there we go. Cleo Mancer, or however you say your name, has been defeated. Recipe for disaster has now been ticked off. Everything we've been doing since the creation of this account has just come to an end. We have now unlocked Barry Gloves, boys. Unfortunately, I only have 95k, and I want to check my age quickly, just the second after getting these gloves. I'm very curious to see how long it took us to get these. Not bad. Not bad. I mean, we didn't. We certainly didn't fuck around. Four days and 15 hours. I'd say that's pretty damn good. Also gonna put the experience in agility. It has to be a skill which is 50 plus, so I feel like that's a good thing to put it into. 54 agility, and bear in mind, I am gonna have to get at least 70 to be able to go to God Wars Dungeon, so this is a grind we are gonna come back to at some point in the future. The moment we've all been waiting for Mr. Barrow Gloves. Oh, that looks so nice. Look at those things, man. What combat am I right now? 62 combat. Barrow Gloves have been achieved. Like, it doesn't matter how bad the gear looks. And right now, this gear looks fucking awful. The gloves just make it look good. Now we can go ahead, get our stats up, continue training, and make money at the same time. Look how fucking sick this gear looks, man. <laughs> The barrow gloves, like, it doesn't even matter how bad it looks. The barrow gloves make this gear. It should be 50 attack. Very nice. I'm gonna go ahead now and get this staff upgraded. Upgrade my staff, please. 200k, and it's gonna go from 250. 50 to 2,500. I'm willing to do it for now. There we go. And it even changes the way it looks. Nice. So this is going to be the gear we're going to be using for a little while. The plan from here is we're going to head to the barrows. I think I'm going to set myself a goal of 100 barrow chests to begin with. And then once we've done 100 barrow chests, we're going to see how much money we've made. And I'm praying to God we don't go as dry as Sea Engineer right now. And go 150 dry for a Carol's Coif. That can't happen. We're low on money. We gotta keep this bank rising. The first barrow chest on this account. This is gonna determine whether we have good RNG this entire series. Triple item, first chest. Let's go. And there you have it, guys. That will conclude episode five. Barrow's gloves have been acquired. Now we can get back to the money make. Just a friendly reminder, guys. I will be streaming this five days a week, Monday to Friday, over at twitch.tv forward slash rakesy. So if you guys aren't following me already, link is in the description. And I hope to see you boys in the chat. With that being said, guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave it a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you very soon.